Hello friends. I'm heading to a doctor's appointment this morning. So I'm out and about, as you can see, and I'm bundled up. It's raining right now. It's not pouring, but it's not sprinkling either. It's, it's raining. Now last night it was pouring and we just, you know, our whole house was reverberating with the rain. But um, we're fine and we are dry. We had a little bit of leakage in uh, one of our doors, but everything's good. So I'll try to show you a, a little bit about what's going on around town. Well, I'm heading out of the my doctor's appointment and it's now what we would consider pouring. Now, Robert did tell me yesterday, he said, if you post videos about the weather here, people are gonna laugh because it's so mild compared to what others go through. But, you know, it really is, it's, it's a pretty heavy downpour for here. And um, let me see what, what else I can see as I go home. This little creek near us is generally dry, just dry as a bone. But you can see now that it's rushing and um, it's pretty full. Here's something crazy. After almost 24 hours of rain, look at these gorgeous irises. This is what it looks like and sounds like in our backyard. So we're heading north on a street perpendicular to where we live. And you can see up in the distance, there's a hill there. So we live in what you call the flatlands. And um, we have not experienced really any damage in the storm, mostly because we live in the flatlands. But up in the hills, those people who have fancier houses and more property actually, oops, have uh, experienced some damage and you know we've seen lots of um, video on the news about foundations crumbling and uh, culverts filled with um, debris so this is it's about 12 30 it's still raining moderately not heavily um, but not lightly either and we're just going to take a drive around even though the mayor told us not to do it this is Ventura Boulevard, and um, it's pretty flooded here. It's flooding almost into the middle lane, so the first lane of the boulevard is almost completely flooded. Some of the businesses have put up sandbags to protect themselves from the flood. This is the most dramatic uh, water accumulation that we've seen. This is the LA River very, very near us and very near Jackie and Matt. And you can see it is actually almost uh, over the banks here and so rapid that you would definitely be uh, in danger if you were to fall in. I feel nervous getting near it because it looks so angry and so... Ay, 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 ay. is just almost cresting very very fast and this channel is probably about 15 feet now if it 15 15 and 30 to 40 feet across now if it does crest over you know there's a lot of places for it to go here so it wouldn't immediately um, endanger homes starting to rain a little bit heavier now. We're heading into the later afternoon. It's supposed to rain heavily through the late afternoon through the evening again. So Burbank Boulevard is normally closed even in moderate rain, but it's closed much um, farther down. This is the intersection of Balboa and Burbank Boulevard. It's completely closed, but here's something else. Uh, Balboa is never closed through the park here and right now you can't well, I wanted to go down here because the LA River goes through the park and I wanted to show you that it but looks like it's flooded up there. it's um, maybe significant maybe the road is significantly flooded here's another view of the river 
uh, on another cross street where it's much wider as you can see. But still fast. Okay, we're currently on Burbank Boulevard. Whoa, we're going through a really, really here of water. And Burbank Boulevard runs perpendicular to the Sepulveda Basin Dam. I'm going to show you the intersection where that's more evident, but Robert's going to tell you a little bit about that. All right, so I'm going to give you a little geography uh, and hydrology lesson about Los Angeles. Los Angeles has two major basins, the San Fernando Valley to the north and then the LA Basin to the south. The okay, LA so let me just interrupt you. This is the Balboa Park, part of the basin. So those two basins are both naturally desert environments with soft alluvial soils. And up here, Jill's gonna show you the intersection. This is the intersection that's closed because this part of Burbank Boulevard through the golf course. Is part of a flood control basin. Right. So those soft alluvial sands support an intermittent stream. But as the city has grown up around it, they channelized the Los Angeles River. That means they put it into concrete and made it essentially part of a flood control system. And uh, in order to slow the velocity of the water, they created the a flood control basin in Balboa Park. They put a dam there, and what it does, it, it allows the water to collect there before then it leaves the San Fernando Valley Basin and goes into the LA Basin uh, proper. But this is a pretty remarkable rain event, and uh, so they have closed probably four or five square miles of the Balboa flood control basin. Um, and so you, you which is five minutes away from where yeah, we live it's five minutes away from where we live and presumably it's filling up with water more than usual um, which is okay because when it's not flooded it's a golf course and a bike path and you know other sorts of recreational activities um, but <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen it where they have completely blocked off like four mile perimeter around the flood control right. basin. So they must have a lot of water in there. They let it fill up, they let the golf course flood, uh, and they hold back water and then control the release out to the LA basin. Uh, the LA river goes past Griffith Park and then runs uh, all the way out to by the port of Los Angeles. It's 51 miles long and it's what keeps LA mostly dry during uh, what would otherwise be intermittent floods in the winter. More updates tomorrow.